Hi, my name is Takashi Suwada and I'm the designer and creator of Nightingale Ninjas. Nightingale Ninja. Nightingale Ninja is the extrasensory, ninja-themed dungeon crawler of deduction that will test your wits. In Nightingale Ninja, you are one of six different ninja clans scaling slippery ceramic rooftops, crawling through windows and crossing the infamous Nightingale floors of a Japanese castle so as to infiltrate its defenses, complete as many missions as you can, and get out before dawn. Gameplay is addictive with over 3 million map combinations that are simple to set up in 10 to 15 minutes, making up 7 tiers of rooftops, a labyrinth of interior rooms and a basement level shrouded in mystery. This 1 to 6 player game is quick to learn for ages 12 and up and takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play, including time for setup. In Nightingale Ninja, your objective is to become the most infamous clan under the sun, scoring points by completing missions and escaping back to your start point before the break of dawn. In a solo campaign, you must first deactivate a spread of bombs laid throughout the castle by a rival clan before trying to achieve your objective of obtaining at least 20 points before dawn. In a multiplayer campaign, with up to 6 players, you will compete for the greatest number of points come dawn from completing your missions. You lose the game by failing to escape the castle before dawn, failing to escape the castle before another player detonates the bombs, or if another player has more points than you at the end of the game. In a solo campaign, you will also lose if you fail to disarm all four bombs before dawn. You start the game by drawing your first mission from your own stack of 7 mission cards. You will keep this card hidden from other players so that your movements are more difficult to read, giving you a better chance at succeeding, especially if it is the case where more than one player is competing for the completion of the same mission. The hex tiles that make up the map are also flipped upside down. As you navigate your way through the map, you will be flipping the hex tiles unveiling the secrets that await you. In addition to hiding your attentions and objectives, you will also use the cover of your player screen to confuse other players and bluff your way through movement rolls by either using both movement die or a single movement die together with a custom decoy die. Each turn consists of five main phases, a sentry roll, a movement roll, the opportunity to be snitched on or snitch on other players, move, and adding another dawn counter to your daylight bowl. As the first phase of every turn, you are presented with the option to control spawned hostile sentry guards. Occasionally, if another player leads one of the sentry guards to you, and you are spotted in their line of sight, you are then penalized by having to add another dawn counter to your deadly daylight bowl, inching you closer to your deadline. You must also dedicate your sentry roll to redirecting the sentry away from you. In the next phase of a turn, you would also do well to bluff your way through the movement rolls to either cover more ground or sabotage the success of other players by leading them to wrongly accuse you of making the floor sing, which is symbolized by rolling doubles. A clever aid to assist you in your bluffing is the option to either use both movement die, allowing for more ground cover at the risk of being snitched on, or using the safer option of a single die together with a blank decoy die which can lead other players to wrongly accuse you and be penalized. In addition, if you are wrongly accused, you are awarded by being given the opportunity to remove a dawn counter from your daylight bowl. If you are snitched on, however, you take on the counter and your movement roll is nullified. At the end of each of your turns, you will automatically take on another dawn counter by adding one to your daylight bowl. When you have 10 counters in your bowl, it is dawn for you, and you lose. One of the coolest things about Nightingale Ninja is the social and casual aspect of it. While it is a strategy game, it is quick to play, easy to set up, quick to learn, and the experiences that can be had are priceless. We are working together to snuff out the bomber, or conspiring against one another and sending sentries after each other. Go on, give it a go, and see if you have what it takes to be the most cunning Nightingale Ninja of all time.